Hello YouTube, uh, this is the first episode of the perennial pepper experiment. Um, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm talking about. Some time ago I was reading that um, peppers are actually perennial plants, they're not annuals. So I was reading on this forum, they were saying, you know, you can take them out of the ground, cut them to four to six inches, you know, wash the roots, trim them down, put them in a little pot and the, the peppers will go into, into a dormant state. Supposedly the next year you can uh, you can take them outside and slowly you know plant them back into into the ground They're gonna be a lot a lot better I've also watched a couple of videos where people said that they had you know plants for three four years They would turn into bushes. So what I decided to do is Before uh, before winter hit I pulled a bunch of uh, a bunch of peppers from my garden um, You know different types and put them in the spots To see what would happen if you know they would actually survive until next year and if I could actually plant them back now I have uh, a few types. I have two uh, two jalapeno plants. They're actually different. Um, a cayenne. Um, I have a um, Italian roaster. I did pull a habanero out. However, it didn't like to be transplanted for some reason. It just it just died. So you know, I gave up on that one. I do have this other plant, which I believe is a uh, it's a bell pepper. However, this is something that I actually started indoors and never took it outside. It never uh, made any pepper, so uh, I'm not sure at this point what it is. So this plant is, you know, probably eight, nine months old. I mean, it's pretty big, it's strong. It does have some uh, some flowers popping up, so, you know, maybe it will make some peppers. Um, as you can see, I still have uh, jalapenos on, uh, on the plants. Um, some of them are, you know, red, so they're looking, uh, they're looking almost, uh, almost done. Um, I do have uh, one more uh, cayenne over here. My parrot seems to uh, seems to like YouTube a lot, and you know he uh, obviously doesn't have any table manners. Um, I do have this uh, this other one, but actually uh, this is a jalapeno also, um, and it uh, it was hidden be behind my uh, my tomato plant, so it's actually long and and skinny, um, but surprisingly it has about. Uh, Three or four uh, jalapenos still on it. Um, this is uh, this is the one that I was uh, growing indoors, and uh, if you can see it, it's uh, it is right here. You know, it does have a, a little a little flower there. It's about to open up. If you can see them, the the the, the plants are wet because I actually had to uh, to shower them. The problem is, um, obviously, spider mites. That is a big problem. There's no way to uh, to go around this. Um, I basically have to shower them probably, you know, three, four times uh, um, a month, if not if not more often. And, you know, every time I, I look at them, I see that they're they're bunching up. I basically take them in the shower and give them a good uh, a good spray. Um, this is my my Italian roaster. It's the one that basically looks the the worst. I don't know if I just I don't think I, I've watered it enough lately, so that might be the problem. It still has uh, still has three peppers over here. One is actually pretty big; it's turning turning red now. Normally, this these things are probably I don't know eight inches. So I mean, this looks like a baby compared to uh, what the actual peppers were looking like during the uh, summer. Um, what I did is, and I thought that that would actually do something, but it didn't. Um, what I did is I had some. Uh, some uh, landscaping fabric cut and placed into uh, into the pots, and I put all this all this stone, thinking that you know the bugs would not be able to uh, to go through and, and live. But however, um, I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of gnats that uh, doesn't appear to be stopping them. So I'm going to have to find another way to um, to control this uh, this invasion. Um, uh, I've been using uh, you know some organic. Uh, soap to see if I can, you know, uh, control the population, but it's slippery, but I'm thinking about somehow maybe using some, some plastic or something and just covering the whole thing uh, around the, around the, the pepper, so there's no way in or out, um, like I said, this is, uh, this is the first episode I'm trying to, uh, to record and see exactly what's going to happen, I'm thinking that they're probably going to start, you know, losing, uh, their leaves pretty soon, and, uh, I'm curious to see if they're going to survive. Um, if I can get them to survive until spring and plant them, uh, that's going to be very interesting to see, you know, uh, how big they uh, they get and, you know, if they, uh, 
if they're they're able to survive all year long and then uh and then if I can maybe pull them back in the house but you know that is uh that is why this experiment has been uh has been put in place I will see uh what happens and I will keep you updated have a nice night